Now I'm also going to show you how to colour some fondant icing, which is what we would then cover a bigger cake with. So take a piece. Remember to wrap your fondant up again, and you can use it lasts for you know a couple of weeks if you keep it correctly. So I'm just going to knead that together to get a nice pliable texture. Now, if I were to add the colouring straight to my main piece of fondant, um, it would take quite a while to knead that in and get the consistent colour all the way through with no streaks. So what I've done is I've pre-coloured a smaller piece of fondant with the icing colour, um, which I'm then going to add to the icing, which will prevent me having to knead it for absolutely ages to get a streak-free finish. So I'm just going to start kneading that through. And you can use um, smaller pieces of icing to create flowers and decorations, borders, etc. If you want to cover a whole cake with the icing, you need to make enough colouring in the first set of colour that you do to cover the entire cake. It's very difficult to recreate the same colour twice. So you would just continue to knead that piece of icing until you get to your desired colour finish.